Now I got more, baby. You know, I want to watch the flash right now, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, I got my flasher, you know, I'm represented while I'm watching uh, SmackDown. Nakamura is out here right now. This dude's mental. And I'll be watching The Flash after this goes off. Guys, like, why are they, they put him over, like, way too much on commentary. Like, they get him over so much to the point on commentary that I feel like if it lo if he loses one match, It'll just ruin his entire career. Just by the way they put him over. Like, he's the most amazing man to ever do anything in the world. He's the most amazing man to ever eat a french fry. Like, they just go into way too much depth. Like, they, he's just a wrestler. That's all that he is. He's not an artist. Please stop. Stop over-exaggerating. Like, I like him. But, jeez. Oh, gosh. The jobber, Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura is a good wrestler, but he's low-key a weirdo. I gotta agree with the jobber Dolph Ziggler on that one. He's low-key a weirdo. Wait, he's talking about Michael Jackson. Wait, he thinks that Shinsuke Nakamura is Michael Jackson? Bro, Shins yeah, Dolph Ziggler thinks that Shinsuke Nakamura is Michael Jackson. What the heck? This man is this man has gone nuts. Shinsuke is so weird. Yeah, oh no, man. Like, what is this? He, like, what? What? Like, what's with this man? Like, whose man's is this? Is that a new Titan Tron and ramp thing for Baron Corbin, or am I just not realizing it? But it is really cool. Like, maybe I'm just realizing it now. But it's like a, a city, like, I guess, uh, I don't know, an abandoned city. And then, like, it's, like, darkness going throughout it. And then it slowly, and then it just follows throughout the ramp. And then, like, the whole back entrance stage thing is just black by the time he gets, he's walking down the ring. It's just, like, really cool. Oh, maybe this is the first time I noticed it. Like, for real, but it's really cool. Anyways, Baron Corbin going up against AJ Styles. He just talked to me that the win last week, so I'm guessing that Baron Corbin's gonna win it this week. As he should. I think that he should, especially if you want to make this a thing. I think that uh, until Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho have their little thing and they're done with that, Baron Corbin definitely should pick up the win. I think that he should. Or, um, yeah, they should be feuding for it a little bit until Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho have their match. And then, maybe, have Kevin Owens cost AJ Styles a win or something like that. I don't know. A team up Styles, I mean, at Corbin and uh, Owen on Styles. Oh, now Sami Zayn coming out. Honestly, I don't think Styles should have won. I don't, I don't like, I feel like Styles won last week, and then Corbin should have won this week, and then Baron and Styles could have battled the next week, and then to see who is, you know, supreme. Ooh, Sami Zayn. Ooh, ooh. Honestly, I guess AJ Styles is a face now, and honestly, it's one of the worst face turns that I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's just so bad and so weird. Like, why would he randomly just be face all of a sudden? Like, I don't understand it. Like, the way that they're doing it, like, the way that they did it with Rollins was very good. The way they're doing it with AJ Styles, it's just one of those classic, oh, a heel beat me, a heel attacked me or something, so I guess I'm a face now. No, I want like a real face turn, like give me a good reason. But yeah, this face turn for AJ Styles is really bad. I don't like the way they're doing it. Right, so we got American Alpha versus the Shining Stars. Honestly, I'm so glad that the Shining Stars won their match last week. Because finally, I got to go to Puerto Rico. It was amazing. The question is, are we going back? Are we going back tonight? Yes. We're going back tonight. To, hopefully, the Shining Stars defeat the American Alpha because if they do, then it'll be amazing because I'll be able to go to Puerto Rico again. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beat the clock challenge also. Um, it's a beat the clock challenge. So, American Alpha, 
facing the shining stars and then i guess another team's gonna face off and then they're gonna beat the clock thing yeah that's what it's gonna be um Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I don't even understand what I'm saying right now. But yeah, a Be The Clock Challenge. Hopefully the Shining Stars win it because it's going to be amazing. Wait, they call the Colognes again now? Dang it. They call the Colognes. They're not the Shining Stars anymore. Dang it. Oh, well. I mean, at, le at least we'll go to Puerto Rico. Hopefully we get to go to Puerto Rico. All right, guys. So the American Apple won in like five minutes. And, um... 17 seconds it sucks so we're not going to puerto rico but it's so it's okay but yeah rusev what do they mean rusev responds rusev responds to what nobody's what do they mean they should just say rusev talks what do they mean rusev responds no they, they they just said that he's gonna talk about him being on smackdown how is that responding though no one said, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But yeah, and then, and then I, I I think in a no disqualification match, Randy Orton's going up against Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan sucks. Hit his entrance. His entrance is some stupid music, and he walks. He prances around with his hands wide open like this, and takes like these giant steps. Like this man is nuts. He has no chill. Byron Saxon is just an idiot. A Booty's buffet on SmackDown. You know, a buffet is for a variety of foods. Booty's is just one food, so they'll have a bunch of different sections of Booty's. That makes no sense. It's just one food. Guys, we all know that Charlotte is gonna bury like Naomi. Like, come on, bro. Like, we all know it. Like, she buries everybody. I don't understand it. Like, why would they move Charlotte to SmackDown? Like, it's not even me like, oh, because Charlotte's going to bury Naomi, and Naomi's my favorite on SmackDown. That's not even it. It's because they book Charlotte in a way that they have not booked the SmackDown woman. Like, they put the SmackDown woman, basically, like, anything can happen. They're all equal. The way they booked Charlotte on Raw was like, uh, she's Charlotte. She's going to win the matches. Ah. That's the way they booked Charlotte on Raw. That's the way they did it. So, how is Charlotte on SmackDown gonna mess with anybody on that roster when everybody on each roster has been booked in different ways? Like, every woman's division on each roster has been booked different ways. I don't understand how that's gonna work. They need to figure out a way to work it out. Like, they need to book Charlotte totally differently than they did on Raw. If they do, it's not gonna work out. By do, I mean if they do book her the same way that they booked her on Raw, it's really not gonna work out whatsoever. It's just not. Anyways, Rusev, my boy Rusev straight up says, yo, if I don't like Danny Bryan, I don't like Shane McMahon, if I don't get a championship match of money in the bank, I'm packing my bags, going back to Bulgaria. That's a, uh, that, that's an interesting proposition. I love Randy Orton with the title because, like, we all know that, that like, what is he, a 13-time champion? He doesn't care. He you know, like this, like he walks around like the championship is nothing in his hoodie vest, like like he really acts like it's like nothing. Like he's like oh, yeah, yeah, I, got the, I got the championship, whatever. Like certain people dial it in, and they have no right to, and they're no in for no position to. Randy Orton can dial it in, phone it in every single night. He's still Randy Orton. Like he 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 really can do whatever he wants. But like certain people, they dial it in. And I'm like, who do you think you are, bro? But Randy Orton, respect, bro. Randy Orton's dumb. He said, you know, Sunday I'm going to be in a House of Horrors match. I don't know what that is, but I got a little feeling for some reason that Sunday I'm going to find out. No duh, you're going to find out on Sunday. You're in the match, idiot. Why are you, like, pointing out obvious stuff, bro? Randy Orton is so dumb, man. He's acting so dumb. Uh. Anyways, after all of that, Randy Orton gets jumped by Jinder Mahal after he says some nonsense. And Randy Orton straight uh, and Jinder Mahal just straight up taking the title. Just take just took the title. And Randy Orton's got a pay-per-view on Sunday, even though he's not even on the roster. Oh, by the way, Randy Orton beat Eric Rowan. And that match was like really good. It was I didn't expect it to be that good, but it was really good. Oh, Breeze Dangle versus the Ascension for the second part of the Be the Glock Challenge. Hopefully they pick up the win. Before 5 minutes and 15 seconds, if so, they face the Usos. Actually, yeah, I want to see that because American Alpha, they have, they've had their chance too many times and they failed. So, give it to the Ascension of Breeze Dango. Hopefully, Breeze Dango, though, because Breeze Dango, it's lit. 
Breeze Dango. Ah, I hit myself in the eye. Ah. Breeze Dango got it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get on. <laughs> Guys, I'm so annoyed right now because we all know uh, Charlotte's gonna be everybody. Like, oh my god. Uh, like, it's so obvious. Like, oh my god. You know that Charlotte's gonna win when Naomi does her entrance and then it goes to commercial break right after. Like, that's just a dead giveaway, bro. Like, Charlotte's gonna bury her and win that title. I just don't understand because... Like, the way that they just book Charlotte, like, they, like, if I was Charlotte, I'd like the way that she's booking me. But, on the outside looking in, it's like, eh, nah, nah. Like, it's too much. Like, it's too much. Like, it was okay on Raw, because they booked everyone a certain way on Raw, but then SmackDown, it's just weird. Like, because everyone is booked so differently. Like, everyone, it's like, okay, everyone, you know, everyone's at the opportunity, a fair chance, and then Charlotte's like, okay. Putting her in a match with Naomi, boom. That 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 old fireman's carry and then drop into the kick by Naomi. That was that was nice. Sucks that she's gonna lose to Charlotte though because he's a Charlotte. Th she's Charlotte. <laughs> That's literally the only explanation that I have. She's gonna lose to Charlotte because Charlotte, Charlotte. If Charlotte wins, I'm not watching WWE anymore. I'm really not. Like I promise. What the heck? What are they doing? I think this is what CM Pulse talks about. Some Legion of Doom stuff. Carmella. Everyone jumping in now. Carmella. Even James Ellsworth in the mix. No, I'm, 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 I'm Tamina. Okay, they're, they're jumping Charlotte now. What is Naomi doing? Why is Naomi fighting them off? Naomi, leave it alone. Let them beat up Charlotte. So it ends in a no contest. Um, so I guess I'm still watching WWE. Yo, why did Tamina botch that super kick though? Like, Charlotte was dead close to you. How could you botch that? Can this please be a stable? Can this please be a stable? Yes! I mean, you know, ends in no contest, 2017, woman main event. Like, the woman, the WWE women are killing it out here. They're really killing it out here, bro. Like, good job, good job, guys. And, um, yeah, guys, so thumbs this video, comment below, subscribe to my main channel. The link is in the description. And, yeah, this channel is just for TV shows, but, like, videos of me doing skits and wacky stuff like that. That's all, um, what you call it? That's all, uh, in the description and stuff, so subscribe to my main channel. Yeah, guys. Till next time, you guys don't have to do till, tell you all the time. I tell you every single video, you know what it is. You know how we do on this channel. All right. Oh, wait, by the way, by the way, did I think this was better than Raw? Yes. It was better than Raw. I think that this was SmackDown's opportunity because Raw didn't really have like a big, fantastic moment. And I think that this was SmackDown's opportunity to, uh, like, get the edge on Raw. And I feel like they, they, they um, that. Ending with um, Natalia, James Ellsworth, uh, Tamina, and Carmella definitely gave them the edge. Like, I don't know. I really like the idea of that being a stable. I really do. I like how that sounds. And yeah, guys, till next time, stay beastly. <gasps>